Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I thought for sure it was gonna be so hot out today, but it's cold. It's windy though, not as warm as it was yesterday. So what are you doing? Oh good, you're gonna be fixing up all that fencing. I was so excited to be out here this afternoon and it's freezing. Hi. <laughs> are you watching them lay eggs? Are you watching, honey? My friend and I were today were talking about how like amazing it is to raise a foal. It's such a whole different experience. Like this girl loves her girl. Yep, let's let's leave them until the end of the day. We'll see if we can get all of them to lay there. Where are you headed, little pig? Where are you going? She's like, I'm coming with you. <laughs> no, she's not. Come on. So today's the day that the little guineas are going to get to go free. We got four of them. We paid like $25 each for two of them. And then two of them we got for free. So there are $50 in chickens in here. So we bought them because we had a horse die from advanced stage Lyme disease. Complications from advanced stage Lyme disease. And we never want that to happen again. Like we learned how bad ticks can be. So um, we don't have a lot of ticks on this property. We don't see a lot of ticks, but we want to just make sure. So we got some guineas. We have some more guineas in our incubator and we're hoping to hatch those and have like a little um, crew of guineas. You really do need a lot of them because they're so flighty. They're like a wild game bird. They literally are so flighty. They just run off. They fly really well. They fly over fences. They just run off and end up in neighbor's area, neighbor's yards, or even farther. And uh, my sister, who's an animal welfare officer, catches guineas all the time because they're just, they just get away from people's properties. So we actually want these guineas. They're really, really amazing at taking care of the tick uh, population and even they eat fleas. So we wanna keep them. We have a plan to keep them. One part of the plan was keeping them locked up with our chickens for as long as possible. So they've been in here for a few weeks. There goes, Al P Posey! Come on, Posey! Come on! Whoa, come on! <laughs> She's like, take me for a swing, Sophie. <laughs> All right, I threw a little bit of food so she, she'll stay here, that's my trick. So anyway, we found a way that we can keep our, our, our things. We just want them to keep ticks away from the horses. So they're only gonna be allowed in the horse field. All of our chickens. All of our chickens also are soon gonna be moved into the fencing. So if you guys don't know, there's six foot chain link fence surrounding the whole farmyard and pastures. So nobody can get out, No, nothing can get in. They're gonna be really safe in there. Uh, we don't have any predators in there, uh, except for raccoons that can climb fences. And that seems to be all we have, but they don't come out in the daytime. They only come out at night. So to make sure they don't fly over the fence, Sophie and I are gonna cut their wings and then we're gonna let them free. All right, so whenever I cut feathers, I always just cut the flight feathers and only the front part because... Now how do you know what one you did? Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, I don't know. So whenever, whenever I cut feathers, I always cut the front part of the flight feathers because um, they use the bottom part. Let <laughs> me catch them. They use the bottom part. Whenever I cut feathers, I always cut the front part of the flight feathers, and I only cut one side because it's enough to unbalance them. And I like to cover their head <laughs> because it calms them down. So, I just like to cut the front part. Tuck it back in, they don't even know. See how good he was though with his head covered? Now we just gotta catch two more. 
So it doesn't hurt them to cut their flight feathers at all as long as you're careful and you know where you're cutting. You might be worried that it makes them more prone to predator attacks but like I said because we're putting them in like a fenced in area that is really safe from predators they're gonna be locked up at night so the raccoons won't be an issue look at stormy up there on the hill I love him when he comes up here so honey's like I'll get you <laughs> she already knows hi baby you gotta brush her oh, again. She's shutting around her eyes. Yeah, she always does that. And her ears. Her ears. So you think she'll be darker in the summer? She yeah, is, isn't she? Her face is always Look at that butt. Oh. Honey, chill out, man. Chill out, man. Uh, they, oh my gosh, they need their fly masks. They need fly spray. They're like... Oh. She's like, save me! She's like... Penny is leaving the building. She's like, I'm not putting up with this crap. Penny's like, I'm putting up with this. We're, we gotta put their fly masks on as soon as we're done here. Storm's like, yeah, I've been there, done that. I know everything that they're doing on this farm. I'm just gonna eat. Look at Penny's like going... <laughs> Don't come here! Like... I'm making the opening. And Penny literally <laughs> took off. She's, gonna she's a back fighter. Back. She's coming back though. She's a Ellie. She's bro. It's okay. You're gonna be okay. I promise. It's not. I think she's excited. She's like a new toy. So I wonder how they're gonna be when the guineas come out, though. Everybody else is okay. My horse is so exactly like me. I she's like, like I think I'll just like leave. That. Actually, I am more like that. <laughs> My new horse is more like that. You think she's than, like than that? Penny. She's not like Penny at all. She's a happy, yeah. She's because when she moved the standard, she like kind of jumped away and then she went back to it. And yeah. that's what Honey's been doing. Yeah. She's like, ah. Yeah. So the new horse is like, yeah. don't come in here because I'm in here. And if he starts again, <laughs> how'd they get out the front? Because I only had it tied with a bungee cord. So they're all out the front. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, so the guineas get out the front. So <laughs> that's a fail. All right, let's go put are their fly masks on. I don't get this. <laughs> no, I want all even the chickens in the back because then they're always safe. Oh, they're not on the road. Sam, watch honey. She'll run you down when she gets scared. Well, at least they can't fly. All right, so I got a bunch of fly masks. I can't remember who belongs to who. I'm excited to see if one puts the baby this year. Well, I hear them, and I haven't seen my pig. Check my pig! Whoa. Hey, don't you even. Where's Honey's? I don't know. Oh, here. Put them on the ground. Well. Don't, don't be fussy. All right, Gracie, come here. Everybody's got one except for the, the baby, and I think I have one that will fit her. My friend gave us these pink ones. She gave us two for Gracie. I love them. I love it. Storm chose the purple one, I mean the blue one, and he practically shoved his head in there. Penny it practically shoved her head in hers too. You guys know what horses are like. If they don't want something, they don't put it on. But they all knew what those things were and they all shoved their heads in. Do you have fly spray? I do have fly spray. All right, let's see. Yeah. This is crazy. I want to spray. Um, and then... Okay. All right, here's the other one for Gracie. I'll have to wash this one too. Yeah. Let's go try this. Just wait. All right, let's see. I'm pretty sure that I have more. 
somewhere. Oh, here. Look, I have all these. I haven't washed these ones yet, though. Okay, those are all horse eyes. Oh, these are all horse eyes? Yes. All right, I'll wash these. That's fins. Yeah. Fins. And We're going to go to a, a show and watch Finn this year. We're going to give you guys a big update on Finn. We're going to go to a show. And... This will fit anyone else because it's a car. Oh, it would probably fit Penny. All right, let's try those two. You think those will work? Maybe. I got up this morning at five <laughs> so that I could milk because I have three goats. I only did two today. I let the babies drink from the other one. Went down at six and I had just enough time to do everything I needed. I like to be back at the house to say goodbye to Gabby. I like to be there when she goes to school. Um, so I did perfect today. Tomorrow I'm gonna add another goat and it's gonna be a hard goat, so. So tomorrow I'm gonna try and be down at the barn at 5.30 and see if I can get everything done. But it worked really good today. It actually fits. It's a little loose around the So I think that's the one we sewed last year to try and get it to fit her and it was still didn't oh, fit her. a pink one. Oh, she had a pink one? Yeah, I'm gonna flip this off. I saw, yeah, that's the problem we had before was that it was falling down over our nostrils. I can't tie it. Yeah, that one's too big. They'll just fly up underneath. We'll save that one for Willow. Or Gracie or whoever. She's not happy. <laughs> the ears are too big. Oh, honey, come here. She's not happy. Everybody else is happy. Penny's just like, leave me alone. Well, because she's hadn't had one on last year. Yeah, this is her first year really with a fly mask. We okay. need fly spray. All right, well, why didn't we get the fly spray while we were in there? That was so dumb. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. The guineas literally stressed us out. Just listening to the sound of them is awful. So anyway, we're gonna get them on this side of the fence. Oh, look behind you. <laughs> why are you following me? She's really, no, she, you like it. It's okay, is it good on her no? Over here. <laughs> she looks like a donkey with those big ears. Sophie's taking pictures of her. I actually love looking around the, looking out in the pasture and seeing all these fancy colors. So cute. Pull it all the way down and see what happens so that, cause it's gonna fall. Oh, it's fine. Let's see, that might even help her. Like it doesn't cover her nostrils. It's fine. It's not like she's... <laughs> I'm just gonna pull it up for now. <laughs> Look at crazy. Crazy's the queen of the... Whoa. <laughs> Crazy's the queen of the herd. So those little dangles down there, they'll make the flies go away. They'll scare the flies from landing on her. So those are really good. We should actually sew those onto our fly masks. Okay, but Gracie hates them. Gracie hates it. I know, she's like, Mom, I'm coming with you, Mom. She always wants to go with Sophie, no matter where Sophie goes. But this little area right here, it's just this little tiny area, would be such like a good little area. It's completely fenced in. And then if you, and then this part's completely fenced in. But it's like this little area. It's a safe place for the ponies. Yeah, so I don't know, it would be fun to like, make this like a chicken area i don't know they need more space than this but hi stormy boy are you going to lessons tonight he's like, he's like no not me oh hi she gets a, fly mask she gets a big girl fly mask this year run oh there goes <laughs> don't say run in the field <laughs> i said run and everybody ran and i tripped and hit my head on the <laughs> my head on that thing too. I love that our horses want to be with us and that they love to be with us. All right, I need to eat <laughs> because that was so much stress. It's funny how like noise is stress. Tim has a little backup camera that he uses. It's magnetic. Isn't it adorable? Ellie, get over here. Come here. Try to get 
Isn't it crazy how you make friends? Who you make friends with? That is so sweet because silkies are such sweet birds. Oh, Ellie, 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 get back here. Ellie's like, I really want to see those. <laughs> Penny's excited. She's like, I want to go. I might take her up there. What I got Surely makes the world go round Cause I got something real I got something real Cause I got love yeah. I got love, love. Yeah. I got love Yeah, but there's a wasp in the car Gabby's black saddle pad. I always like to open the trailer at the beginning of each season and see all the fun stuff that we have in here. Do you know what's weird? We have a lot of girths, a lot of them. And I only found two. Both of these are storms. Oh, actually, this one's she knows. Oh, how'd you find it? It was behind Gabby's So we went shopping on the weekend and I swear to God, I had like another bag full of stuff and I couldn't find it. Can I try these? We also have Look, the are being good. a lot of bridles, a lot of them, because we bought show bridles, we bought, oh, there's another girth. We bought show bridles and practice bridles, and then we brought, bought camping bridles. Sophie's blowing bubbles to the chickens. Look at Ellie. You guys, you won't even believe this. Oh, they're afraid of the bubbles. The funniest thing about Ellie that you guys might not know which actually makes me so happy is that she's so friendly. And right now she wants to be friends with the guineas because she knows they're new. And she was over there surrounded by guineas rolling around on her back. She like had her feet touching the ground or the ceiling. She had her feet up to the sky and she was like basically saying, come here, be my friend. She's like such a friendly little dog. The chickens are like, what are these things? <laughs> I thought we could show them to the horses. I literally bought toothpaste at the dollar store and then this week I've been running out of toothpaste and I've been thinking like what the heck did I do with that bag but I guess it got lost in the car. Where was it in the car? Behind Gabby's saddle. Check and make sure he's got two shoes because he was running around when dad came home. Oh I see screws in this side. I see them. Got them. Good job. She took off her fly mask. <laughs> it's because she's not used to it. Aww. Yeah, she's like, what in the world? We thought you'd like them because you're a baby. Don't get them running because we need them to be able to go. I'm so excited for Gabby to take him, even though he's going to be like so out of shape. She's just going to be so happy. Like, even though he's not like this fast, furious, jumping horse. She has so much pride in him and that makes me so proud of her. He's like, what are you doing? Even though Willow's amazing and Sophie's done so much with her, there's still a little bit of wild in her. Like there are things that she's really resistant on doing just because she's ne she was never handled for 15 years. Just like, even though Daisy's a really good dog and she can do everything and she's trained and she knows how to do all of our commands, there are still some things that she struggles with because she's deaf. She <laughs> Gracie, like Gracie really does not look happy about that fly mask. Can you bring me some scissors? She gets home like just before the time that we leave for riding. So if we want to get there in time, we have to get everything all set up. You guys remember all the amount of time that I spent helping Penny learn to go on the trailer without anxiety because she hates the trailer, has always hated the trailer. I spent like years trying to get her super tra trailer ready. So I'm going to 
go get her and see if she'll just walk right on. See if she remembers. See if she'll just walk right on. He'll be a miracle because she puts me through the ringer every single season. I'm going to turn the camera on here. I'm going to leave it here and we're going to see if Penny Pickle will just walk on the trailer. I'd run a thousand miles if I could run with you. She likes this ramp. Okay, let me open this. You coming up this ramp? Yeah. So she doesn't like ramps. That's her thing. And she's not like terrified because she trusts me. And she literally is not terrified. But she doesn't like the feel of the give underneath her feet. And that's why she puts me through the ringer every year. But Penny, by the end of this year, we're going on a fun trail ride. You and me. To a faraway place with some of our friends so we gotta work on this Another thing I like about this barn is that when I brought Penny back, I went to put her in there and Storm was guarding the door and I didn't want any fighting. So poof, I just put her over here. <laughs> it works. Goodbye, sweet girl. You are such a good girl. Yes, you are. She's like, thanks, Lori. That was just a fun five minutes of my life. So I'm just going to show you the thing that Sam made. There it is. A little door that opens and closes and a little ramp to go out into the back so this is where all the chickens are gonna go out soon tomorrow when we let them out they got out today <laughs> by mistake but tomorrow when we let them out they're either gonna go out into the chicken area like the chicken locked in area or into the backyard they're gonna get to choose I like that we can have two different areas so they can go out and be safe Ellie 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 Stop chasing my guineas. Stop. I thought you would like them. Don't you know that you're beautiful?